Welcome to a couple of bunkies. On my Etsy store, I sell a bunch of these uh, handmade Amish walking sticks that have a really neat twist in them. The guy that makes them for me had an Osage Orange walking stick that was partially finished and he uh, could not put it in his lathe because he was afraid that it would explode. The Osage Orange had developed cracks as he started turning it and he didn't feel like he could go any farther with the turn. Now, me being a woodworking enthusiast, kind of looked around and saw that you, you could put a twist in a cane without having to have a lathe or any specialized machinery. So I went ahead and took his Osage Orange uh, unfinished piece and I went ahead and uh, started working on it. Tim's attempting to make a barley twist cane with this material. He uses painter's tape to mark out the twist that he desires from his cane. After I mark off the outline, I go ahead and start eating away the material with the sander. Eventually, once you get the groove deep enough, the sander follows the groove automatically. His stationary belt sander broke. He had to use other means from this point on. So I had to end up finishing this process by using the old handheld belt sander by attaching it to the saw stop table. I personally enjoy watching videos where people are turning on their lathes or any other means and creating awesome products. So we are going to leave some of this content for you because when I watched it originally, I really enjoyed it and I just kept watching over and over and over again. It was very satisfying. If you enjoy this content, please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what do you think about this barley twist. I hope you watch until the end. At this point the cane was really starting to take shape so I went ahead and I started trying to taper the twist and make it more narrower towards the bottom.
Now that I got the shape of the walking stick, I went ahead and got my palm sander out, uh, starting at 60 grit, working my way up to 400. Of course, it looks like I'm playing guitar. We decided to put a clear satin coat on this cane. Person who worked on it previously put different kind of coat on it. So Tim had to sand down the whole cane again and then put a clear uh, satin coat that we decided to put on the cane. This is me cleaning up the polyurethane on the walking stick before adding the final coat. This walking stick really didn't turn out entirely perfect. Uh, there was a huge nick towards the bottom of the walking stick that I used uh, putty in order to fill. I really wish that this turned out 100% great, but this was my first barley twist cane, and I look forward to working and doing more like this. If you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe. It really helps us continue doing what we're doing. And if you're interested in these handcrafted walking sticks, please check out our Etsy store. You might even find this walking stick available.